Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on with our Boris Ursus and Ulrika campaign. And uh, we're going to save daughter. Yes. So, uh, Zonin Gatherin is doing alright over here. Being slaughtered by thousands of undead and demons and everything. So, um, yep, our work here is done. No, uh, we're going to need to save her um, a lot. A lot. Oh, so I updated to the live build now. So, we'll see if uh, these pop-ups pop up when they're supposed to pop up. Um, you know, for a bit. Also, it wants me to kill Kugath, huh? Interesting. I would have seen that if this had popped up when it was supposed to pop up. Yeah, I kind of want to kill him too. I'm not going to lie. And I kind of want to kill him too. We'll see if we get the opportunity. Uh, also, we are going to try and close this. Uh, oh, immediately. Unfortunately, there is an army on the way. Hate that we have to pay for this. This is why I hate using heroes. Because now what are we going to do with this man? Send him over here, I guess. I don't know, very boring. So, let's get rid of Drazo. Wow, how the heck did he recruit that army so quickly? I feel like he had like a, quite a small army last turn. Or did I make the mistake of... No, it's, he's on route. I was going to say, did I not move him or something? Well, apparently we did. That's fine, I guess. Uh, Black Fortress has some upgrades to do, so let's get that queued up. I think we just need to charge in, right? I'm just going to charge in. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a land battle, right? So our bears will be able to get some work done. But I'm a little little concerned about how this is going to go. Um, wish me luck. Oh, okay. Actually says the odds are pretty well in our favour. And now that I'm seeing the armies, it is mostly hobgoblins. So actually, I feel quite confident. Alright, let's do it. Okay. I like the lighting on this map. Very fun. Anyway, uh, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? I feel like anyway, anywhere we go is going to be pretty, pretty similar. I'll just spread these guys out a bit. And... Yeah, I guess we'll have bears in a couple of spots. Kinda wanna keep all our heroes together. Maybe with some bears. That's a good little good little squad. Um I think I also want to make sure that I got little Grom over here. Gotta do that. Gotta do that. And uh yeah, we'll keep them as they are. You'll move in independently, I suppose. Uh alright, Bale Taurus up there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, a little scary. Got Drazoth up here. Bunch of bale tortoises. Uh, Blunderbuss is over here. They're going to be a problem, you know. They are going to be a problem. Uh, can you shoot that guy? Nice. Sure can. There's a hobgoblin archers. Also orc laborers up there. And some cutthroats. Ooh, don't like those uh, bull centaurs chilling out over there. Alright, as soon as these guys get in and can start shooting things, I think we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Something I would like to do. And I guess some spells out or something. Little hobgoblin archers over there. Yeah, I can't really charge these in until we're um, until we're ready. There are reinforcements coming. Not a lot, but they are coming. This seems very silly. Look at this. Like, what? Alright, sure. Sure. You do you. Alright, move, 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 move. Move, you lunatic. Didn't move. Alright, let's start killing Drazo. You guys get stuck in as well. Oh, we've got Korch over here. Oh, they're building a barricade there. Okay, good. It's not a proper barricade. Should be fine then. What are you doing? Attack him. Silly. Okay, let's move you guys forwards. Alright, we're in. Summon some stuff. Oh, that seems to be going well. 
So he's going just fine. And you should probably move in as well. Bears are having a fun old time. Uh, I mean, this is all a bit mental. But that's fine. Start getting some spells going. Let's get a nice little blizzard over here. And, I mean, Drazoth is still just sitting here. I don't understand why he's just sitting here. Like, is he stun locked or what? I really have no idea. Not a clue. I mean, he is nearly dead. So, yay? Alright, what do you seem to be doing well? Uh, let's hit these. Oh? Okay, this has very short range, apparently. Let's just hit them, then. Alright, you guys dealt with them. Bears still going. Some blunderbusses over there, failing to... Failing to achieve much, though Warbear Riders are getting pretty hurt, so we do need to be careful of that. Alright, I love the kitty. Chase the Bale Taurus around. Yep, keep chasing the Bale Taurus. Atta girl. And, oh, hello. Hi. Well, we'll kill you. Ah, Kitty fell down. Alright, let's get Drazoth. Get some more health back. Let's hit these guys. Very nice. In fact, you just start shooting. Got him yet? There we go. There he goes. Alright, how you look doing? Doing pretty well still. Should probably pull them back at some point. You know? Probably pull them back. Let's pull them back now. And there's only 13 of them over here. Alright. Jump into the next lot. These guys are holding, but barely. His armored Kossars are having a bad, bad day. Let's see if I can't get some more spells out that'll, uh, that'll help. Probably going to hit most of our own guys there, aren't we? Yeah, probably. But it's going to upset our enemies, and that's more important. Alright, you don't move up. Bears are getting blasted. Very sad. Uh, we have our Zargard over here. Get those Hobgoblin Archers, I suppose. Alright, come on, you lot. Get stuck in. Not sure who I'm shooting, really. Now, uh, what are you doing? Let's get you over here. Alright, keep chasing this lot. Not really sure what else to do here. Um, I feel like we made pretty good progress. I'll hit these hobgoblins, why not? I mean, the answer to that is because it won't actually do that much damage, but it's, it's fine. Okay, start shooting them. Push you guys up. Okay, you're getting shot at, which I'm not happy about. It's very rude. Okay, let's chase them down. Get the war bears into those Chaos Bull Warriors. Uh, Ulrika can push up as well. Oh, you lot can turn around and shoot them, maybe. I mean, they're facing the wrong way, but... I'll probably turn around eventually. Oh, and there's their Lord. Cheeky. All right, let's get over here. We need to deal with them as well. Little Grom is, is only little, so we've got to be careful. It's only little. Only little, our Grom. I'll just turn around and start shooting them. Alright. You guys had a good time. Captured a bunch of capture points. I mean, they are capture points, not 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 capture points. Designed to be captured. And be pointy, I guess. Uh, Infernal Oath Sworn over there. Interesting. You go fight them. Go get him. Alright, how are you getting on? Buff your defenses a bit. Okay, looking good. All the buffs, please. And, oh, 
more spells coming in, I think. Or was that me? Might have been me. Might have been me. My bad. Why aren't you just shooting him? Huh? Do you really not have line of sight there? Oh my god, they're my armored cossacks. Of course they don't. Alright, line up over there. A lot of ammo left, those armored cossacks. Alright, start shooting them. Ooh, maybe don't start. Maybe, maybe start flipping right in. Ooh. Grim. A lot of artillery these jerks have got. A lot of artillery. Uh, looks like army loss is about to kick in though, so it looks like we have it. Yeah, you better run. Cool. Close victory. Okay. I'll take it. Boop. <laughs> that guy needs to run away. Yeah, jog on, mate. Jog on. Alright, how are we looking? Got a load of money again. Which is nice to see. Uh, Boris. Boris. What have you got for me? Uh, let's do Foe Seeker. Let's, let's start making him more fighty, shall we? We're going to get his damage up. Uh, also, I will I will point out, um, I can I can cheese things uh, in a few ways. If I wanted to, I could go into the realm of Corn and take all of the really awesome weapons that are in that realm and then just have them for the rest of the campaign, but that feels like it's not within the spirit of what we're playing at the moment. So I won't be doing that. Um, it, it gets a bit cheap when you've got, like, Boris doing, you know, 1,500 damage per swing. It's just, we're already kind of snowballing, you know? <laughs> snowballing, because of all the ice. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're not going to bother with that sort of thing. So, let's see here. Uh, insurance policy. No qualms killer. Actually, quite big bonuses. Yeah, 20% extra weapon strength is, uh, is quite a big bonus. Very cool. I like this in percentages as well. Okay, Darkhold. I'm not going to bother upgrading that. Mine's a Gorgoth, though. I think we are. Let's get some garrisons here. Alright. That's all looking pretty good. And now we start to run a little bit low on money. A little bit. But we are building up our infrastructure rather well. Now we have some pretty good looking armies. Uh, so we definitely want to go to Krakadrak. Um, Krakadorden's over there too. I'm not sure I'm going to bother with that. Because I really just want to get rid of Valkyr. I cannot believe they've still not taken Prague. Go take Prague. I asked you to take it. She's just ignoring me completely. See, look, you can see the little, little objective marker. Um, occupy target. Go, go get that. I am the harbinger of your demise. Hi. <laughs> She's the harbinger of my demise, apparently. Um, anyway, we're going to deal with that. Ice Court requires attention. Vaska Taraskovna. Uh, being part of the Ice Court rarely means a witch stays uh, solely within the Boca Palace. They are envoys traveling the Oblast and beyond, using their glacial arts in the regions for the benefit of the nation. How should she disperse her talents? Oh, I don't know. Uh, control's nice. Less corruption's nice. We'll go with control. We'll go with control. Okay, good. I think that's it for this turn. Let's move on. What ails you? Uh, making dragon friends. Sounds good. Know that I will not squander my second life. <laughs> making lizard friends? They're declaring war on us. Why are you declaring war on us? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? Be like, oh, there's some humans kicking out all the like obvious chaos worshipping dwarfs. How dare they? What what is just ugh. Chameleon here is Chameleon. His name's Chame Anyway, screw him. We're gonna murder him to bits. What a jerk. Absolute jerk. See you dead, fiend. And Ragnar, you want to declare war on me too? Yeah. Alright, I won't I won't invite anyone else. Although, like, what are the Tong doing declaring war on us? I'm surprised we've even met them. And we can kill them without issue. Good. Now uh, let's get some more money out of them. Uh, Uzkalak received plague. That could be a problem. That could be an issue. Um, oh, that's nothing. It's nothing. It's a plague that doesn't really do anything. 
So, not sure. I guess he's here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, because there's the objective. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where, um, where our enemy is. Good. Mother no now, let's see. So, I'm a little worried about old Grimgore getting over here to the Falls of Doom. So, we may need to get another army here, which is really quite annoying that we have to do that, but I think we do. So, let's get, um, Tordomir Erskoy. We clearly had him in our army at some point. Okay, pop up still not popping up where they should. But, okay. Maybe I need to start a new campaign to fix that. Uh, oh, we do have some brilliant units for Boris. And I definitely want Boris to have those. We could also get some dwarfs up in here. That would be useful. That would be pretty cool. Can you just get some miners or something? I mean, they're quite cheap to maintain. Oops. Yeah, a couple of miners of blasting charges. I actually really like miners of blasting charges. The blasting charges are great against, like, orcs and goblins that tend to be quite tight formations. I really enjoy them. Uh, we can also get a bunch of ice, uh, ice guards if we wanted. I don't think we want to, though. I think we just want to get a bunch of Cossars to help hold the line. Or, well, the walls, really. Just cover the walls in arches, and off we go. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we're going to start chasing over here. Hopefully he can keep the area safe. Certainly one of the armies that would be attacking us from the north is over here. So, hopefully, he won't have other armies coming in. It also seems like... Nope, they are definitely not at war with each other at the moment. That's a pity. They may have bonded over their mutual hatred of us. Potential problem, though. Oh, well. Uh, okay, that's still friendly territory. Fine. Hopefully we can reach that next turn. Yeah, hopefully we can. There's uh, Karen. Karen Bloodheim. I think they're probably going to take uh, Yeshjish. Oh, so many chaos armies and undead. Ugh. You better be able to handle them. You've got like an elite stack. You should be able to contend with them. And we can also build up this. Is that worth four grand just to give it possibly a slightly bigger garrison? Feels like a bit much. Feels like a bit much. One thing we can do, though, and that we should do, let's actually talk to Zarya and Catherine. Do you have any ally missions? No ally missions. That's disappointing. I could also request an army from her. I could request that army and then go take Plesk. But I worry that these guys will then take Portrakova over. Hmm. Ah, I'll just leave it. Uh, right, so. Boris. Uh, please do. Please do follow the bear. You know, it's the weirdest thing. I thought that was a face for a second. You see what I mean? It's got, like, a little mouth here. Eye. Eye. Sort of nose somewhere in the middle. There, you can kind of see it. And a slight impression of a face. Like, when it's in motion, it looks more like a face. Anyway. <laughs> You get it. Uh, I'll just let him run around, that's fine. We're gonna go get Scrap Tower. Oh, there's also Haunted Forest, but we'll have to double back for Flay Drop first, I think. Uh, did you guys take back... You didn't take this back yet. Hopefully they will soon. And uh, Crookback Mountain we need to upgrade as well. So let's keep upgrading that. And let's get it making us some money. Because we do need more money. Because we keep spending it all on stuff. Stuff. Why does stuff have to cost things? Ugh. Speaking of stuff and costing things, uh, has this actually been destroyed? Did someone destroy that one? I guess so. I'd be able to see it otherwise, right? Yeah, the portal seems gone. So, yay? Not really sure what to do with this guy now. So I'll sack him. Bye. Okay, moving on. Manfred von Karstein wants peace, but I can't give him peace. Because when he starts attacking Zarina Catherine, we're not then going to be... Okay, now I'm a little worried about this guy coming in. But Uzkulag does actually have a pretty good garrison. This guy can hop over if he needs to. But anyway, um, let's keep moving. He might be headed for Frozen Landing, which isn't completely undefended, but it's not particularly well defended either. 
Uh, let's just run for it. I do not tolerate hesitation. Yeah, let's just try and catch up. So, I mean, he might turn back and attack us. It does seem like he is headed for the portal, though. He might be headed to go do an objective. If he is doing that, then that's fine. Um, that's not a huge problem. Of course, when he's done, he will end up back here, unless he's killed there, right? So, uh, is camping here a good idea once we're done? Because I would like to take the rest of this territory over. But, of course, as soon as we do that, it becomes a target that we have to babysit, and that's kind of annoying. We can't quite reach it. That's so sad. Alright, let's just move a bit up then. But this is going to be pretty deadly for her, because look at that, it's tier 4. This is actually very high tier, which is going to be good for us too. So that's, that's going to be costly for them. I will decapitate oh, there she is, with her army again. Jerk. Looks like uh, Yosef is having to run away. Zali and Katarin still trying to get rid of folks. I'm very glad that she doesn't need to jump into portals to do those missions. So, Vaska, what have you got going on here? Many ice witches are stern women with an iron unbreakable will tempered by the cold. Others still have spent time in the snow-clad tundra, as much, uh, as much creatures of the wild as of Paris. Which one is she? Stalker or unbreakable? Unbreakable just sucks, I hate it. We'll go stalker. Having an invisible ice witch is very, very cool. Big fan of that. Okay, so you're good where you are. Uh, honestly, this is a pretty great uh, garrison. Just to have a bunch of extra archers in this garrison, I think, will probably just do the job. And it's, it's cost me 1,200, which is pretty steep. I don't really want to make that worse for myself. Okay, let's go get Scrap Towers. Do I want to get a Haunted Forest before heading over here? Just so I can get rid of, like, all of them. Otherwise, I'm doubling back again. Yeah, I think I'll go to Haunted Forest first. It does give them more of a chance to get an army there and to attack their old capital, but um, I still think it's worth just getting it, you know? So Mother Earth, Motherland invo uh, invocation cost is down. Many believe that the Motherland is alive and loves her people as they love her. When disease claims the lives of every man, woman and child and five stenitzers, the icy wind takes on new, a new timber. One that sounds like a sorrowful howl, the land will surely make amends. All right, well, let's do a thing. Um, do we not have anything on the go at the moment? I guess I guess we must not. No, we do. We have Saliak still. I was going to say, we didn't do that that long ago, did we? Um, so I can do another one for cheaper. Uh, I think just getting extra cash might be good at this point. That's not bad. That's another, like, 1,400 quid a turn. I like that. Big fan. Uh, boost income, why not? Cool. This area is nice. I like this area. Like, fairly lush, you know? Yeah, I like it. it seems nice. Uh, right, this place though, horrible. Horrible. Horrible place. We need to deal with this at some point. Luckily they're not declaring war on us, because they seem to be, um, like, just passive in any campaign. They seem to just let the other Chaos Dwarves do their thing. Which I quite like. I kind of like that you have some factions that are just idle, essentially. Um, like, very hard to shift, but aren't going to be causing, you know, a huge amount of uh, problems for you. Makes them a sort of boss fight, in a weird kind of way. So I think that's it for the turn. Let's move on. You will be food for the bears. Oh no, Von Karstein. Uh, peace treaty, no. Even though the money would be nice. I need to stay... Stay united. Oh! Interesting. Decided to go for a swim. Uh, so I can't reach him. Not really sure what his game is. But it's kind of odd that he's jumped in there. So we're going to colonise this. Which is, uh, you know... Nice and cheap for us, which I like. Uh, so we literally just built it here and it's got the plague now. This army didn't have the plague. How did you get the plague for existing? That's very surprising and strange. Very bizarre. Also, I do love that the Slanesh uh, corruption just, like, puts Slanesh symbols in the dirt. <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, right, you there. It cements my power. It does! It does cement your power. Such cement. Uh, so, violent defeat, high casualties. Barely anything here. If we fought this out in the open, we could handle it. And, in fact, 
in a siege situation. Oh, we have nothing with siege attacker, so we can't even if we wanted to. Well, let's um, yeah, let's build a siege tower or two. Uh, yeah, so I think just spells. Because we've got Tempest, right? Hailstorm, rather. It's Lord of Tempest, I'm being... Yeah, I'm confused. Uh, we have Hailstorm, that we can just crash down on these guys while they're on the walls and things. I think we could probably handle these pretty easily in a siege situation. They may come and attack us, just because of the way auto resolve is. In which case, fine. I'll kill them out in the open. They're going to be very, very slow. We could actually kite um, a lot of their infantry around if we wanted to. Which would be pretty funny. Gates of Tsar. What have you got for me? Oh yeah, let's upgrade all the farms. We'll make this all lush farmland yet. <laughs> Just you wait. It's gonna be lovely. Can you guys please take Wanderell's tomb, please? Look, where even are you guys? Look, let's go occupy Tarkir, okay? Is that better? You can do that? Maybe. Oh, hello, chameleon. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, we need to get rid of Flayed Rock. And Haunted Forest. I guess I'll get rid of that first, because it's right there. But, um, yeah, he's going to be a bit of a problem. Weird that Kislev is going to have island colonies. Very odd. In, like, what would be, I don't know, like the Indian Ocean or something. It's very strange. So, Boris, my boy, let's level you up some more. Let's get you... Oh, yeah, Wound Maker. I shall enjoy this. And I'll really come back to over and get no qualms killer. In the real world, dueling is not simply a matter of striking and parrying. You must not just score a hit. You must kill your opponent and do so before they kill you. Ah, that sounds terrible. And an Ataman is available. That's a good point. Um, let's see. So 1,400, oh, 1,600 for, for the Blasted Wastes. Is that going to be the best we've got? Yes. It certainly is. All right, Blasted Wastes it is. Cool. Uh, hang on a minute. I didn't pick who I even wanted there. I just went, I'll go there. It's just putting up happiness. That's rubbish. Can I sack you? <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, I should have done an income one. I can always go with the income ones. Oh well, whatever. We have an Ataman. It's fine. Except... Oh, is that done? Okay, fine. I don't know what was up with that. I feel like it's usually a confirmation of, of putting someone in there. But, uh... Maybe I'm just going do lally. That is absolutely... It's absolutely an option. Not ruling it out. So I think we're done for this turn. You just need to chill. Haunted Forest, we can put up... Um, control. Um, that, do we have one that loads corruption as well? We have that loads corruption. That might be worth doing here. I'm also going to get rid of the recruitment building in favour of some walls. This needs to be built up and it's going to take a while to do so. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the income building too. I think we'll go walls and growth. We need growth here so we can build it up because it's on its own. We can't rely on the minor settlements around it. Oh, and we got this one done as well now. Let's lower corruption here too. That yeah, sounds wise. And here we can rely on some extra growth, like from our anchorage here. So we'll see if we can develop this area and fight off chaos. Might be a little bit of a struggle. But, you know, might work out. Uh, being fun? Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. Less fighting, the better for us. Focus on what we need to focus on. I might actually get Peter involved in the main fight that we've decided is something we're doing. You know? Uh, replenishment, because you guys are really injured for some reason. And there's horrible corruption over here. That's a pity. In our home territory, too. There's 69 Sanesh corruption. Of course there's 69 Sanesh corruption. All right, let's start building that up. And you're going to attack now, aren't you? Oh, it says we're actually going to win now. I mean, I think this will be kind of a walk in the park. Just getting all of our archers lined up by the walls and shooting over, and they'll just sit there and take it. Um, like, I don't think they can really do much until we've run out of ammunition. You know what I mean? So I might just take the win. 
Now, we have a couple options. Do you want to sack it and occupy it? I think we just want to occupy it. I think we just want to occupy it. I don't want to knock down its level too much, because it's nice, nice high level for us to take. So let's go with uh, just growth and control, I think. Although, this would help keep the uh, corruption down. But that's not really a big problem these days. I don't find. In Warhammer 3, I rarely have to build, like, anti-corruption buildings to keep, um, to sort of offset, like, the local populace or anything. Like, I had to a lot in um, Warhammer 2. I feel like that's not as big a problem in Warhammer 3. But it's, it's an old habit to break. I'm always like, oh, I'm in corrupted lands. I need to make sure I'm constantly fighting that. But... A lot of the time it just goes, oh no, it's fine. There's no chaos here, so chaos corruption will stay down. Don't you worry. Um, which is nice. You know, I like it. Big fan. Uh, what do we want to get for Valantin here? Traditional skirmishes. Let's just make sure all of his cossards are doing better. And for you, uh, a gust of true flight or swift wing. I mean, the extra speed and charge bonus is quite fun. Uh, this one gives us the extra accuracy. No, I'm not sure that's that big a problem. The extra range is quite nice too, I suppose. Uh, the Hawks of Miska I quite like. I do quite like that spell. So we'll go with that, trying to get to Arcane Conduit. And for Peter over here, let's get him wild-eyed. I want his eyes to be wilder. Cool. So we get ourselves some gemstones. Hopefully, I mean, that seems to be getting us a lot of extra cash. Which is good. Oh, and uh, Paita got a war bear. Bears for everybody. So as much as um, uh, as much as a lot of people don't like the fact that every character, every Kislev character seems to get a bear mount. So they're, like, they're all the same. In a way, I do kind of like that because I like bears. I think it's fun. Um, I think it means that you can actually have your... Um, spellcasters, like in the thick of things with everybody else, it feels like your your sort of um, uh, your sort of headquarters, you know, units are all are all on bears. They can all contribute to the same things. I kind of like that going around as a gang. It feels kind of cool. Um, I think that's kind of unique for Kislev in that respect. So there's less uniqueness within Kislev, but it is unique for Kislev to be able to have like all your lords and heroes. In, in essentially like a unit of war bear riders, like, which I quite like. I think that's a nice thing. I mean, certainly just down to preference. Um, if you don't like everyone being on bears, put them on a horse, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I would say I would love to see a war sled as an option for spellcasters as a mount, because I think that would be very on brand. Because, you know, those ice sleds are, are very... Like, they're obviously, you know, the ice is all magical, so it just feels appropriate. And it would still be bear-related, but they're not actually riding bears into battle and stabbing people in the same way that uh, that they are currently. So there's, there's other ways to do it, but I kind of like the idea of the option of a bear. You know what I mean? Well, you should. Because I'm making perfect sense. Uh, but no, I would love a war, uh, like a war sled option for uh, spellcasters. Maybe just the, the lords would be quite cool. Maybe just the lords. Wouldn't need to be everybody. Alright, now let's get a garrison building there. And actually, I kind of need to make sure I have the night patrol house built. Because I do need that frozen outpost so I don't get rifts showing up here. I don't know if one can actually show up in that area. But they might be able to. So I do need to make sure I build that in time. For now, though, I think we are going all in with the growth. It can start making some money later when we have some more building slots. It's not really a problem. Uh, scrap towers. We're going to upgrade. I'm going to have to get rid of that building so I can start getting a garrison over there as well. Now, take a couple turns to get over here. Which may be enough, may not be, not sure. Um, we'll see. We will see. And I can't afford that. Damn. Spent all my money again. Never hmm. Yeah, not much else I can do. Alright. Alright. Um, do I want that, Sentinels? Oh, we need to upgrade that too. So, I don't think there's really any more corruption happening over here. But, I think having one church... Like, this could be an area that we're kind of using for a uh, night patrol house. It's not like we need to double up on farms or anything. So I think one of those is probably a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's all fine. 
And the minds of Gorgoth is actually big on recruitment. We can get Streltsy from there. I'll just leave it as is. And Shatterstone Bay is getting attacked. Didn't do much. And they've taken over. Damn. Uh, let's be best friends. Oh, they want to trade. Hell yeah, they want to pay me a lot. Perfect. Oracles of Sinch just claimed another soul. Now let's have a look at diplomacy. I want to see if anyone wants to trade with me. Nobody wants to trade with me. A few people to think about non-aggression packs, at least. Including the, the Great Orthodoxy, that I'm a little bit worried about. Oh, also, we haven't been doing this, have we? Let's support Daughter. They are gonna. They are just gonna blitz ahead. They're gonna buy a hundred, and and Zardine and Catherine's gonna buy fifty. Like there's there's so much to do here. Oh, I'm gonna be so disappointed if they do that. Like it's it's gonna make things so boring. I just I hate Confederation. I really do. It just dilutes variety so much. Yeah, exactly. He gets it. Real, gr real growing resentment. Uh, also, how have you guys not taken that yet? It looks like they're taking it, which means they're building another army in Flayed Rock, I think. Alright, I can get close. Hopefully they'll attack me. Hopefully they'll attack me. Although maybe I should just ambush instead. Not great odds, though, huh? Also, um... <laughs> oh, look at him go. Look at him dance. Have a great time. Uh, I'll try. I can attack next turn anyway, but if he doesn't see me, he might run up this way or whatever. We'll see. Pretty slim odds of um, getting away with it, but it's fine. It'll have to do. Alright. Let's start seeing what we can upgrade. Okay, so I can't even get a garrison building there yet, so let's keep trying to upgrade that. Um, oh, and here's a baddie with some soul grinders. Okay, now I think we might need to run back this way. Although it looks like you've probably got this, right? Uzkilak and extra archers. Probably fine. Probably fine. Do kind of want to burn down Darko Wolf and other other areas. Though. Uh, Ragnar is on his way. Jerk. Alright, let's head to Frozen Landing. I'm trying to defend here. Do I want to try and get some... Okay, I can't. I've already moved too far. Alright. Get as close as you can. Yeah, this is a problem. I feel like we need just an army in every city right now. Yeah, alright. What have we got for here, then? Could get a farm, just a bit of extra cash. And growth. It's not a terrible idea. Could just go full on with growth. Really try and power through it. Might not be a bad idea. Might not be a terrible one. Alright, you stay where you are. I think you have to, for now. Until we get crack a track on its feet. And I know, we need to go help a daughter. Uh, Alright, garrison over here. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's a soil over here. Alright, we're swapping that around a bit. That's all going to help, though. You know, once it's done. Um... Yep, more growth. I'm very unhappy over here. Chaos corruption is not good. It is going down, but very slowly. Very, very slowly. We need to do something about that. Crap. Yeah, well, we'll leave it for now. I could just untax it, actually. That is something I should probably do. Uh, yeah, non aggression pack. Sounds good. And the exiles of court have been destroyed. That's amazing. That's one less person in the race. Who the hell killed them? I suppose I don't care. That's great. We need to get rid of the oracles of Tzinch, though. Really deal with them soon. Uh, so this is nice. They're still loitering here. So we can get rid of Chameleon. They want to go out into the sea. To wipe out the faction, annoyingly. But that will be an area that we should be able to hold on to. Pretty happily. Indefinitely. <laughs> Land of the Plague Lord has been entered. One turn from them, uh, you know, from the gates closing. Nice. Well played, mate. Oh! They took it over. They took it. All they got left is Flayed Rock. Though I do need to go over there. 
You know what, we'll deal with them first. These guys are a minor nuisance. I think we'll get rid of um, Flayed Rock. That'll wipe out uh, the final Chaos Dwarf Legendary Lord. And that, to me, I think is more important. I think that's more important for now. <laughs> I really want to get Boris on the other side of the World's Edge Mountains, frankly. I want him in Kislev, um, helping out his daughter. I really do. So I should get another army over here, really. To, to deal with the last of the stuff. You know, to go fight over here, to probably defend from the ogres. I mean, I would love a non-aggression pact to them. They're just not going to have any of it, I don't think. Almost certain they're going to declare war on me. So, I'll think of Agdover. Let's get you... Hell's Lightning Fast? Missile Resist, that's it. A bit boring. Staying power is pretty good. Uncanny range, all a quiver. Um, I mean, getting some shadow magic would be good. We haven't done any of that yet. Let's start getting some shadow magic for it. I know we've been using our other characters the, as the magician, but honestly, the option to use like Penundral Pendulum or or Pit of Shades, even Occam's Mind Razor, using that on a unit of Bear Riders would be amazing. Yeah, up their base weapon damage and armor piercing weapon damage by fifty percent. I mean, it's pretty marvelous. And getting Arcane Conduit would help everybody out. So, more technology. I feel like we haven't done any um, tech in a while, actually. Uh, lower chance of, of uh, plague spreading, I think, is incredibly potent. And also, armor-piercing missile damage for armored Cossars and Streltsy, and better reload time production. That's very powerful, too. So we'll try and get all that stuff, too. Really, we are just going for the land, aren't we? Which makes sense, because we don't have any of the main... Um, you know, the three great cities of Kislev. Yeah, exactly. Uh, labor shortage. Uh, so this guy, can I can I sack him? Seriously, how do I get rid of this guy? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, drill master and master builder. Yeah, master builder. Sounds good. There's only uh, There are only so many of Kislev's sons and daughters available, and the needs of the town put strain on the labor. They sure do. Now, how do I sack you? <laughs> I don't think we can. Anyway, Dwarf and Anvils, if they're, uh, if, sorry, if you want the very best smithing equipment, there's only really one race to buy from. For the Dwarfs, such things are in their very blood. Plus 10 armor for Kislev melee cavalry, which includes our bear riders. Our bears in Dwarf and Gromril. How great would that be? Gromril bears. I followed the bear. Yeah, he's also in Gromril, apparently. I doubt any of them are in Gromril. Right to rule. So, this guy's there. Wasn't there like another much bigger army on its way? Did that leave or is it hiding? Because I would love to attack this guy with this army but I might get ambushed. That would be frightening to say the least. Alright. Oh! You started replenishing. Nice. Corruption must have gone down. Ragnar's headed over here too. He's headed for Valantin apparently. In that case, do I want to grab some of this treasure? Maybe like burn Darko Wolf to the ground or something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I kind of don't want to fight these guys at all, but if they're going to keep doing this, um, you know, the, these quests, getting rid of them would actually be a nice way to sort of cement our victory. Although the northern provinces are currently attempting them. And uh, obviously that would be a shame to sort of have to fight Cathay, honestly. You know, the forces of order. But, oh well. We'll see. We're probably not going to go that far, honestly. I think we'll end up with a bunch of armies in here helping out Zardina Catherine. She'll probably end up getting confederated, and we'll just have to pretend that she isn't. And um, that'll be that. Because yeah, I have no idea how to stop Castelton. He seems like he's very powerful right now. He has seven okay. settlements. There's actually only one more than the Ice Court has at the moment. And yet he is so far ahead. Although strength rank is even lower. Like, what is your problem, Great Orthodoxy? What is your problem? How are you getting so many of the things that you need? I don't like it. He's just been pretty consistent the whole time, hasn't he? Oh well. Um, so Valentin Dubov, we need to watch out for this guy now. So he can't really afford to move. Even though I would like to go over here. I think that might be their last settlement too, right? Um, that is their last settlement. We could wipe them out. That would be kind of nice. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. God, we really do just need, like, ten more armies, I swear. But anyway, this is where we're going to end the episode. We're making some progress. Uh, the Chaos Dwarfs are nearly all dead. 
that's pretty huge. And it does seem like Zaldina Catherine has stabilized now that Valkyrie the Bloody isn't in her territory. It seemed as be Valkyrie the Bloody could match her in combat, and that was enough for everything else to take advantage. Without Valkyrie, she seems to be doing alright. So, fingers crossed that'll hold. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, comment and like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Ursung shall be saved.